Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, while it's pretty obvious going off all of my other videos, I really love houseplants and nature in general. But today I'm gonna be going into another one of my interests, which is psychology. So for those of you who don't know, I actually go to school to study psychology and I'm going into my fourth year in university. So I've always had an interest in psychology and it's something I feel like I know a little bit about <laughs> along with houseplants. So I'm kind of gonna be putting the two together in this video. I've noticed an improvement in my personal mental health since I've started collecting houseplants and going into nature in general. I would kind of put this all into the houseplant collective because houseplants kind of do bring nature into your house. So I'm going to be explaining how houseplants help me and maybe how they can help you. So I figured I'm probably not the only person who gets some sort of mental um, boost, I guess, from collecting houseplants or being around houseplants nature in general. So I decided to look this up and there's actually quite a few studies that show that having indoor houseplants can actually reduce your stress levels and it also improves your concentration and memory and it also boosts your creativity which is why a lot of people will take nature walks for creative inspiration or um i mean i guess the same applies for having houseplants too take a walk through your house i guess and get some inspiration and it's actually also been shown to help older people who have dementia taking care of houseplants can help with their memory and I guess give them some, I guess more connection and responsibility with day-to-day -day action because dementia is such a traumatic thing. So I can leave a link for that in the description if anyone wants to look it up or look into it. I'm pretty sure I got this information from multiple articles so I'll try my best but I pretty much just looked up like how houseplants health mental health <laughs> well I do have my own idea I kind of like looked at a couple lists and gathered some points and figured I would expand on each of those points so I'm gonna get into that in a moment but first I wanted to add a disclaimer I am just sharing my personal experience and just sharing how I think that houseplants can help a little bit with mental health and mental health um, progress viewing your progress through the plants even. Um, so I'm not saying that like having a freaking pothos is gonna cure your depression, okay? I personally struggle with depression and anxiety <laughs> and I'm like not cured or anything, but it has definitely helped me. So I'm not trying to like discredit anyone's mental illness or anything. I'm just sharing my story. I am very, much a mental health advocate. I mean, I'm planning on being like a mental health therapist, so please don't think I'm trying to tell you that this is gonna solve all your problems. Okay, let's get into it then. Okay, so my first point is that houseplants remind you to keep moving. So when in a depressive state, getting up every day and checking your houseplants can kind of give you a sense of accomplishment for the day and allow you to get up and start getting your day moving even whenever you're depressed and you get up and check a couple things that can be an accomplishment for the day sometimes even for the week it makes you feel nice because even doing something small can be motivating and even sometimes throw you into doing more and it'll make you feel like you're accomplished like you're doing something which is always nice when you feel like you're doing nothing Okay, so my second point is that houseplants can provide companionship. This one might sound a little strange, but houseplants do kind of provide a low expectation, I guess, companion in the room. So when you're feeling depressed and lonely, sometimes just going out and being with friends is kind of a hard thing to do. So it's always nice to have something there that 
doesn't expect a ton from you, but is still there with you. It's kind of like having a pet, but a pet is a lot more needy. If we kill a house plant, it's not the end of the world, but if we kill a pet, that's not really that nice to do. <laughs> so, it's nice to have a plant when you're feeling lonely and you feel like something is still there with you. Okay, point number three is that house plants will show you the importance in the small things. Having indoor house plants can bring nature indoors and show you the simplicity of how just having some nature or greenery inside can really be like a mood booster. Especially if you live in the city and you feel really disconnected from nature or you don't have anything around you except for like industrial buildings. And also house plants are a very simple thing in the scheme of things. So caring for them is really simple, honestly. Once you get the hang of it, it's rewarding to kind of watch them grow and do well. So that can kind of be a grounding experience and remind you that simple things just like water and sunlight are just like amazing. <laughs> okay, point number four is that they're aesthetically pleasing. Houseplants can make home feel more like home. Decorating in general can make a space feel more like your own but having a nice plant and like a hanging pot can really make your place feel comforting and more welcoming to you especially if you're feeling kind of down because having something nice to look at can really make you feel better and even if your place is like a wreck because I know sometimes mine gets like that whenever I feel like crap um, it's really nice to have something to look at that looks nice too. And having houseplants kind of gives you a nice place to wind down once you're done with like a stressful day or maybe a day at work or you just had a bad day and you just want to come home and chill out. And when you're proud of like your home space and like what your comforting space looks like, it will kind of automatically bring you like a sense of happiness. Okay, so point number five is that houseplants can serve as a lesson for teaching us how to let go. So when becoming a houseplant collector, you're destined to lose a couple along the way. Not necessarily due to anything you did, maybe it was bugs, maybe it was your house wasn't the right environment for it, a number of things. While losing a plant that you've become really attached to can be kind of sad, it can always remind you that you can try again and that you can learn from your mistakes. And that is also a lesson that we can apply to our everyday lives, which I think is really awesome because a lot of these points from this list are points that you can translate very easily into your own life. Okay, point number six is that houseplants remind us of our natural human links to nature. I find this point especially useful for people who live in the city who maybe aren't able to go into nature like I said before, or maybe you have a lot of buildings around you and you're just really in the city life. And if that's your thing, that's fine. Having houseplants in your house can kind of bring like a jungle indoors, which is really cool for a lot of reasons because as the seasons change in the city, you don't really get to see it as much as you would if you were closer to the wood areas. So you'll be able to see how the plants acclimate to the seasons which is also a metaphor for your own life because as the plants have seasons, we also do. So it's cool to see yourself grow and change with them, whether that be struggling or thriving or like falling to pieces or growing in multiple ways. Point number seven is that houseplants can mirror our progress. Houseplants can show us how much we're truly capable of. I was never able to keep houseplants alive, but I realized I wasn't able to keep them alive because I wasn't giving them what they needed, which reflected my personal life. And like I said before, you're destined to lose a couple plants here and there. And that's not necessarily a reflection on, I mean, your entire life. Sometimes that just happens, it's not your fault. However, I realized that whenever I was collecting houseplants, I started to really like having them around. It might sound crazy, but I feel kind of like, yes, they're alive, but they're also, I don't know. It's just kind of cool that they're alive in my house. Like they don't say anything, they don't really do anything. 
but it's just cool to know that I keep all of those things alive and it feels kind of rewarding, you know? But anyways, I realized I really liked their company, so that really motivated me to learn how to take care of them properly, which ultimately led me to taking care of myself more because I realized that <laughs> it sounds silly, but like humans have honestly a lot in common the plants because I mean when you think about it we're honestly simple beings in the way that we just survive so whenever we're in a depressive state you kind of just stop caring for yourself or at least I do I don't really care about literally anything like I won't eat I won't drink and sometimes I don't shower for a long time and through the process of collecting and realizing hey I need to get up and like check on these guys because maybe they're not looking so hot I'm like oh <laughs> I'm not looking so hot or like I'm not feeling too great so then I kind of realize that I'm in a funk and while obviously there's there's a whole process to all of this uh, you don't just like snap out of it or anything but it does remind you that you need care too which is important Okay, and point number eight is that houseplants can show us how powerful our actions are. So houseplants are a great way to teach responsibility by showing us that neglecting our plants will obviously cause them to decline and taking care of them will obviously cause them to start thriving. And I think firsthand being able to see that your actions have consequences, even just on plants, this sounds like a sacrifice to plants, but no. Seeing that what you do has a consequence and how it actually affects something, I think is very healthy because a lot of the time we don't really get to see that. Like with our words to another person, maybe we don't realize how much our words will affect someone or maybe we don't realize what we're doing affects ourselves. And I think it's really cool that we can kind of see what we're doing Will have an effect on something else and we can see that with our own eyes and witness it. Okay, regarding this point specifically, this point is why I think having a house plant can be really beneficial for someone who's maybe a child and wants a puppy or something and they haven't had a larger responsibility yet. So maybe if you get them like a plant or something or let them go to a store, it doesn't have to even be a plant, it can be something else that requires responsibility to take care of obviously. Maybe you can get them one and see how they take care of it and see if they are willing to put in the work <laughs> and take responsibility for its life and that can be like a really good gauge for gaining a sense of responsibility growing up. I also think this point can be good for someone struggling with mental illness because again, it reminds us to take care of ourselves and having something that you're responsible for can be motivating to be responsible for yourself too. Um, and that's not me just saying like, take responsibility for being like depressed or anything. Cause like, yes, but also you can't really help that, but it does kind of give you a sense of responsibility for I guess how you handle things. Maybe that will motivate you in a way to get help, take care of yourself more, do things that you know will help you. Because honestly, whenever I was struggling really, really bad with depression, I didn't wanna do anything. I didn't care about myself at all. And I think once I realized how damaging that was to others and other things in my life, I kind of started realizing more that I should probably do something about it and probably start taking care of myself more as well as the things around me. Okay, and point number nine is actually my last point and my most important one in my opinion. So this one is that houseplants remind us that we need to care for ourselves which is something I've been saying throughout the whole video really, <laughs> but this point seems like it's really the most simple, but I think it's the most important. And this is one that I'm gonna carry with me probably when I go on to be the mental health therapist that I've been wanting to be for such a long time. I really think that having something 
with you, even just as simple as just a little pothos, can be really, really helpful to, you know, use it as a metaphor for yourself, really. Maybe you can find a houseplant even that kind of just <laughs> relates to you. Pothos are pretty durable little guys. Maybe you are a very durable person, I guess, or maybe you need one that needs more care. I feel like that could be nice for someone who maybe is really in a dark area in their life and needs a reflection or kind of like a mirror of their self in something else that's physical here. I feel like the most dramatic plants ever are like Fetonia and Peace Lily because they'll just like completely faint over when they need water or anything. So maybe finding one that kind of you feel like represents you and that's not supposed to be in a negative way. Okay, it's really supposed to just be helpful for you. And if it's not helpful for you, that is completely fine. I'm just kind of giving my own opinion and advice, I guess. It doesn't have to be advice. I can just kind of take this with a grain of salt. I'm just saying my experience. However, what I was saying is that I think houseplants can be a really good indicator for your own mental health and kind of your own progress because taking care of them will remind you to take care of yourself. Watching them grow can kind of give you a reflection of how you have grown over time, which I think is honestly a really awesome metaphor for your life. If that's not your thing, that is completely fine. Maybe your thing is something else, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, cooking, getting better with cooking, maybe reading, I don't know. Everyone has their own little hobby or something, but I feel like a plant is kind of cool because it is alive like us and it has a lot of similar care that we need, you know? These guys are delicate and really beautiful, like humans, <laughs> so. And obviously I'm not saying that this is your only, only telltale sign of like progression or regression because that's not what I mean. However, what I'm really trying to say is that just seeing the plant that you chose for yourself or your multiple plants wilting over, needing some care, can be a reminder that you also need some self-care. And I have a little bit of a list of how I believe houseplants can remind us to care for ourselves. And you can use these if you'd like. I think they're helpful, you may not, which is fine. If you don't find them helpful, that's okay. If you find anything else helpful or you have any other ideas, please comment, let me know. If you have anything else that's not a plant that you think really helps you, I would love to hear it, honestly, because I love to hear about mental health progress and I love to hear what makes people happy. So I have a straight up list, okay? Honestly, this whole video, I have my points written down or else I completely forget them. So I'm just gonna read from the list because you know what? I've been looking down this whole time and it's honestly getting on my nerves. And this is the last part, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read it. Okay, so examples of how houseplants remind us to take care of ourselves. They remind us to stay hydrated, get fresh air and sunlight, get proper nutrients. They remind us that we can perk up after wilting which is cute, honestly. They remind us that we should talk nicely to ourselves because we don't talk bad to them. They remind us that we should give ourselves the right conditions to thrive, which is an amazing point, in my opinion. And it reminds us that we should keep our environment clean and cut off anything weighing us down. And that we should also allow ourselves to have internal seasons. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be happy, obviously. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel like poo-poo, you know? I think we just need to normalize that that's normal, you know? Every, like we all have these different states. Plants have these different states, which I think is why it is such, to me anyways, why it is such a really cool comparison. I mean, when you think about it, we're all growing in a way and we're we're all cutting pieces of ourselves off as we go on adding new parts on learning new things cutting different things out of our life we go through lows and highs which is honestly the same <laughs> the same way that these guys work it's a lot more simple obviously we're humans and we're complex beings but i mean when you think all the way down to our roots we are 
kind of similar. And I also wanted to add that houseplants just have like a amazing natural beauty to them, which is something that humans have, which I think can also be a great reminder <laughs> that we're just very beautiful people. And I think that is so relevant <laughs> to how we relate to these guys. And I think that's why I love houseplants so much. They kind of reflect people in a way, in a more innocent way, I guess I should say. <laughs> and that's pretty much the end of the video, but I just wanted to put a last little um, closing kind of tag on. Houseplants have personally helped me a lot with my mental health progression. And I highly recommend getting one, maybe just to experiment and see if it helps you too. I mean, I would love to hear if this could help someone. That would be really awesome to me. If it's not gonna help, let me know. I don't know, tell me what does help. That would be awesome too. And I feel like in the future, <laughs> once I start having patience, I'm gonna like have plants and offer people them if they want them and kind of like give them my spiel on it. But obviously I'm not gonna force anyone to do anything. You do get one, kind of experiment with the points I made in this video and let me know how that works. If you have something that does this for you or something similar for you that is in a house plan, I would love to hear it. So please comment and let me know. And that's the end of the video. So if you watched all the way through, if you found any of it helpful, if you didn't find it helpful, that's fine. Thank you for watching all the way through. I genuinely appreciate that. Um, if you would like to see more, like, subscribe, <laughs> and I don't know, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>